Hello there, on this video we're going to have a look at brazing. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to join two bits of mild steel together uh, with our brazing rod. Uh, now the process of brazing is all about using um, a non-ferrous metal, which is our brass here, uh, which is a, a mixture of copper and zinc. Uh, and we're going to be using a non-ferrous metal to join a ferrous metal together, so that's the, the mild steel. So the first thing that we need to do is to prepare our work. Now it's really important with brazing that you get your mild steel absolutely uh, perfectly clean, degreased. Uh, with welding you can get away with uh, welding a, a rusty or dirty joint, but with brazing it has to be absolutely perfect. So my two bits of mild steel, I'm going to degrease them. Uh, with a degreasing uh, liquid uh, and I'm going to use my wet and dry or my emery cloth just to, to smooth the surface down and get it absolutely perfect. So we're going to be using uh, the brazing rod here. Um, so in school we've got, uh, we've got four main methods really, heat treatments or heat uh, ways of, of joining material. We've got uh, uh, soft soldering which you're used to with your electronics project. Uh, you've got hard soldering which goes to a, a higher temperature and I guess brazing would be at the top end of hard soldering uh, and then you've got, you've got welding. So I've got my, uh, my brazing rod here which is my brass rod. Um, this is called the spelter that goes on the, on the braze. Uh, I've just uh, turned the, the end over there. Two reasons for that really. First of all safety so we're not poking anybody, uh, anybody's eyes out with that. Uh, and the other reason is when that's laying on a bench uh, we know which end is the hot end and which end is the cold end for, for picking up. So uh, I've cleaned my, my mild steel. Uh, I've put that into the, the forge here. Um, I've got, uh, you can see I've actually covered it with a, uh, a flux there. So we've got a flux powder. This is a borax uh, based powder which is used for, for brazing. I've mixed some up into a paste and I've covered the, the mild steel with the paste. Now what that does is it stops it oxidising with the air. I'm also going to cover my, my brass rod at the end with the, uh, with the flux when I, when I braze uh, because that will, that will help what's called the wetting which is when the, uh, the braze will, due to capillary action, flow underneath the, the mild steel and make the joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start brazing. It's going to take a while. We're using natural gas here so it's going to take a bit of a while to get up to temperature. I would normally have the heat bricks completely surrounding the, uh, the joint so I can get up to the heat quicker, but obviously it's a bit more difficult for you to see that. So I've left it open a bit, so it's going to take a, a little bit of a while. We've got our, our natural uh, gas here, uh, so gas and air. Uh, we need to get up to between 700 and 800 degrees centigrade. I'm talking to you now about it because once, once it's, uh, it's running and the fan is on, it's going to be difficult for you to actually hear me. So when the, uh, the metal is up to temperature, we bring in the, the brazing rod, the brass rod, and we want the, uh, we want the heated mould steel to melt the brazing rod, not the torch, so that uh, it, it adheres to the metal. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, quickly talk about safety. Um, wearing a leather apron, uh, that's really important. I'm going to be wearing leather gloves. I'm also going to be wearing a full face shield to shield myself from the heat. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start heating up the metal. Uh, we're going to turn off the video and then when we're ready to braise, um, we'll turn it back on. So I'm just going to start up. So if you can uh, watch me start it up. So we're going to turn on the fans. Gloves on. Ready to find raising on.
Okay, that's complete. So what we'll do is we'll just let that cool down um, and then we'll have a look at it. Okay, we've, uh, we've finished the joint now. If I just turn that around so that you can, you can see a little bit better. Uh, you can see here our mild steel has, has blackened because of the heat. Uh, but that will clean up with a, a little bit of a wet and dry or emery paper. You can see, see here the brass uh, which is melted uh, and because of the flux which causes the wetting uh, capillary action has, has drawn the, the brass underneath the joint uh, and there we've got a nice strong brazed joint. Uh, so that's the process of, of brazing. Thanks for listening.